Good morning, everyone. Kay here on my Tennessee homestead, and so much has been going on in addition to the terrace garden and finally getting all the tomatoes planted that I've gotten behind letting you know about some of the other things that have been happening, such as the lettuce cart. I wanna give you an update on that today. I want to show you our first discovery of a certain reptile that we found on the homestead. And here come the kitties. <laughs> and so much more, so stay tuned. So we're going to roll the calendar back to June 5th and take a look at the lettuce cart at its fullest and most beautiful. Okay, here's my lettuce cart and this was it says rocket. Really? This peppercress all went to seed. All these are seeds. I need to collect those. I've got a few green onions that I got from Jeff Poppin. Here's one of those Koss lettuces that you saw in a recent video. I popped those in here and this, this is ready for a great salad tonight. This lettuce is getting ready to bolt, so I have to cut that one. This is chard. And this is mesclun lettuce. So, got some more cost coming up. I got some chard over here. More mesclun back here. More green onions. This is cilantro that's going to seed. And I'm glad because I love to collect the seeds of cilantro. It was at this time that we had just endured a couple of 91 degree days and all of those cool season vegetables were starting to suffer. Many had bolted. The mustard bolted first. The arugula bolted. The cilantro bolted. So much more bolted. The daikon radish. I said, okay, you know, I'm learning my lessons this first year of gardening here. I never feel like it's a waste if I miss out. I mean, literally, I think there were seven radishes in here and I never feel like I really miss out if I don't eat those vegetables because they make beautiful flowers and the bees love them. Anything to attract bees. Each one of the beds looks about the same as this. I've still got some kale in there that hasn't bolted. You can see how when a plant starts pushing up from the middle, it's going, ooh, it's time to reproduce. I need to put out seeds. We had a couple of big bowls of strawberries. We've been enjoying those over oatmeal, but I think that's about it. And frankly, I cannot have this much real estate, two of these plus the one on the side holding a plant for the whole year just for a couple of bowls of berries. So I may have to reallocate one of them to something else. I mean, they are small. I don't know why the first ones were so much bigger. It's clear that I have to get my things planted earlier. I'll have to put frost protection. I'm learning this first season. Patch has turned, she was the most scared of all the kittens when they first came. And the hardest for me to, you know, she was scared of me. And now she's crazy about me. <laughs> Look this way though. So they don't see your bottom, they see your face. She's purring. Say hi. Say hi. You see her little patch on over her eye. It's sort of like a pirate patch. <laughs> What happened to prepare for the kittens, Justin had to build a little netting enclosure with T-posts around the wooden deck out back. Now remember how the deck looked after they took down the trees and I had all that wood sitting back there? So obviously Justin had to move a lot of the wood around to make that enclosure. And this is the day we discovered our first snake. They like to hide in the... Uh... Oh dear. Well, no. This way? Right here. Oh, there he is. You see him? Yep. Let 
went right back in. That big lizard has been seen a number of times underneath the tarps where the compost was covered and also under the cedar four by fours that are still waiting to be made into a fence. We moved all that recently, so I don't know where the lizard is now or the snake. So by June 10th, we'd had a few more really hot days and I decided it was time to clear out the lettuce cart. As you can see, everything is wanting to bolt, and I'm gonna take the leaves. I think these are still gonna be edible. <laughs> we'll see if they're bitter. Obviously, I should have harvested this much sooner, but we've had so much rain, it, I haven't even wanted to be outside. And I absolutely love romaine. This is rocket, which is an arugula. And we've got major, major caterpillars and major rocket poop. This is one. And this is another one. And it's eating all the leaves and it's leaving a trail of poop everywhere. That mother moth knew a good thing when she saw it. Okay, let's get, oh, look at all that. Look at all that poop. Wow. I'm gonna leave the little ones inside. I think I'll take a few beet leaves also, just from the outside. Okay, 
that's pretty cleaned up. I've got a handful of strawberries. We got a lot of wonderful leaves here. And I'm gonna make a great salad for me and Justin for breakfast. I'm gonna pull one of these onions. And I'm gonna leave just a few things like this one peppercress. I'm gonna save the seeds from this. It's not in the way, it's draping over the side. And I'm gonna add some more plants in here. One calamandin. Just for a little tartness, I'm going to squeeze this calamandin lime over our salad. And I got some chocolate mint and some blue spice basil. Yes, it's blooming, but I grabbed it anyway. Everything is taking a beating from so much rain, especially this carnation. So we're gonna do a little deadheading. Justin had to do a lot of work on that wood because he had stacked it on that wood frame rack and it had collapsed over. So all of that wood had to be moved somewhere. Now we have plans to build a woodshed in the cleared area over by the shop. And so in the meantime, he moved all of that wood to behind the shop.
This is BJ. She, we're bonded at the hip. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. BJ and I are going to show you my rocking chairs, which finally came. Don't these look great? These are actually used. I picked these up in Abingdon from a friend of my brother and sister-in-law. They were kind of weathered because they had been out on a porch for a couple of years and the people were moving and I bought them and my sister-in-law refinished them, but there was so much snow she couldn't get out and do it right away and then they couldn't get them down here, but I finally got them. So I have rocking chairs on my porch. I've always loved cats. My mother used to take my sister and I to get portraits. Well and then my brothers, but she dressed us in all of these handmade clothes that she made. We have this one portrait, and I guess the photographer handed me a kitten sitting beside my sister, and, and I had this big expression like this, you know? <laughs> and my sister was going, my sister did come around to, to liking cats, but I was always, can, I just love cats. Now I've got five. Coming up, I want to show you sort of how we're transforming this side of the property. A lot of things have been going on over here that you haven't seen yet. So stay tuned to my channel. And if you're starting over like me, I know you'll find something to enjoy right here in this journey and transition that I've made in the last couple of years. And if you're an urban gardener, you're still going to find lots to learn and enjoy on my channel of 700 videos that I made in the first eight years of this channel. So I hope you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, scroll down and click all so you don't miss anything right here on my Tennessee homestead and this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.